everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and you can subscribe if you want. I will hope that you will subscribe to my channel. Um, I just wanted to come back with a update. I think I'm at about three weeks. Yeah, three week update of my hair and I feel style just to show you guys what my hair looks like and all of what's happened in the past <laughs> couple of weeks um in terms of my hair it's I don't even think I told you guys my hair type I'm more of a B hair type yeah so it's quite thin i'll tell you i have well i won't say thin i'll say thin to medium hair i don't have thick hair my hair is nowhere near thick and yeah i have about 250 of these small locks i haven't done a retie yet because i only am at three weeks and three weeks is kind of a short time to do a retie from what I understand so I'm just waiting to see how long of the time I need to let go by since this is my first month and I'll show you guys what after I've done my retie what my hair looks like but for now it's got a bit of volume it's got a bit of length because I did retwist it I did um, a twist out but this is what my roots are looking like. I don't actually see most of the grid because of the fact that my hair grows so quickly and in how quickly it grows, the grid has disappeared. It was gone after like a week, basically. So yeah. Also, also, I have an undercoat. Oh my gosh, you love an undercoat. And I don't know if I should grow my hair out for the undercut and just like do small micro locks over there or keep my undercut. I'm more on the space of keeping my undercut because the hair at the back of my head is the most difficult part of my hair it uh, is thin like thin like extremely thin hair it breaks easily and it's like a completely different texture from the rest of my hair so I'm really at a impasse of maybe I'll just leave it there and just leave it as a short undercut make my style look funky <laughs> um but besides that yeah that's what i wanted to do i wanted to give you guys an update um products products that i've been using in my hair let me just get them for you i'll be back <sighs> okay go back so products i've been using in my hair product number one water this is my little spray bottle filled with water this is water with ooh, water with uh, glycerin and rosemary oil i'm still trying to find some rose water that i can use because i've heard that's very good for your hair and i like the smell of rose water i do have rose water but the rose water i have is mixed with like witch hazel it's like a rose water witch hazel mix okay and the second thing is the oil this is my homemade oil it's basically vitamin e oil almond oil rosemary oil citronella geranium rose oil and rose hip oil so, yeah I've literally got that much and I don't know when I will replenish it because of quarantine and I really love using this on my head for like refreshing and just putting some moisture and whatnot. 
And then the last oil that I have is actually by a brand. It's a Clinics brand. It's their Aptitude Naturals Moisturizing Curls Oil. This is literally just black castor oil with, let me see, ingredients. Ingredients, yeah. Black castor oil and soybean oil. And this, after a wash day, leaves my hair very soft. Because, you know, when you wash your hair, you have to use a cleansing shampoo. And I have dry scalp and dry hair, dry skin. So moisture is very important to us. So yeah, these are the products I've been using so far. And yeah, just wanted to come give you guys an update, show you my hair. This little cute hairstyle I did, I love it. It reminds me of my hair back in the day before I locked it. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me on my channel and being a part of my journey. If you want to see more, please don't be afraid to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you again on my next video. Take care, be well, stay safe.